Well, definitely all about location out there on this Thursday down south in the southeast. A lot of sunshine, still chilly, mind you, but we were just socked in with the low clouds much of the day here in the bluegrass and up the 64 corridor, holding our temperatures down. Now, sunshine should work back in tomorrow and especially for the upcoming weekend. But it comes at a price, additional cold air. In fact, our morning lows could run into the teens and even mid-teens Sunday and Monday morning. But as we've alluded to the last couple of days, temperatures set to moderate heading into Thanksgiving week. Here's our Max HD radar and satellite. You see things clear across southern southeast Kentucky. We've been in the cloudiness, but you, if you look closely, you can see that clearing line just east of Louisville. So I think as we get into the evening, we may clear out temporarily, but there's additional clouds ahead of a frontal boundary that's going to be dropping in here overnight. So overnight lows are going to be a bit on the tricky side, especially with a southwest wind trying to hold temperatures up a bit. You can kind of see it. The clouds are beginning to thin out here with our Bluegrass Care Navigator Skyview HD Camera Network Richmond EKU. A little bit of sun almost trying to poke through as uh, it was setting here within the last 15 20 minutes. 30 degrees there, winds lightening up, but uh, we've had feel likes here in the bluegrass mid 20s. Actual air temperatures just either side of the freezing mark. Now it is beginning to cool down across southern Kentucky where skies are clear. Did manage upper 30s there, so not much of a wind chill issue down south, although with that wind kicking up at times it felt like low to mid 20s, and we're going to do that all over again tomorrow as this boundary moves on through. So as mentioned, the combination of the high pressure southwest wind coming around it and the clouds filling back in, it may be a case of where we drop down into the mid 20s, say ah, around midnight or so. And then as those clouds move in and kind of act as a blanket, temperatures may nudge up a bit heading toward daybreak tomorrow. Speaking of, as the front moves in, you see the cloudiness around daybreak temperatures Right around freezing, so a burst of a snow shower flurry can't be ruled out. And then we should begin to clear things out a bit, but our latest run, again, has some scattered cloudiness around and even tries to top the 40 degree mark down south. So that's still well below average, but we'll take what we can get. The other part of this, again, is the wind, and we'll have wind chills low 20s tomorrow morning, probably more so mid to upper 20s tomorrow afternoon. And then tomorrow evening, they'll drop back, even though the winds will begin to diminish somewhat. Remember tomorrow evening, round three of high school football playoffs here in Kentucky. We've got some big games as we get deeper in the playoffs. So if you're heading out to one of those or out at all, you'll want to dress accordingly. Now the high pressure begins to build in Saturday, mostly sunny, but it remains chilly. This little front kind of sweeps by and that firmly allows that high to get right overhead. So Saturday night into Sunday morning, that's when we drop into the mid to upper teens with this thing right overhead. And that's why we're going to be a little bit cooler on Sunday, despite a good bit of sunshine around. And we talked about the moderation in temperatures. Now, this goes from Wednesday to Sunday of the long holiday weekend. You notice a little bit of lighter blue. That's just below the curve. So what's going to happen here? We're going above average in time for the holiday on Thanksgiving. But if we see some activity coming, on uh, Friday, some of the models indicating that, then we could see a bit of a cool down second half of the holiday weekend. So still got some cold air to deal with, including game day Saturday, but we climbed the ladder quickly. Big jump Monday, and at this point, travel day and Thanksgiving looking pretty good with highs in the mid to upper 50s.